this sidewalk has a pretty cool timeline built in, uh, carved into the bricks. Let's see that out here. You can see carved into the bricks are uh, events in history. So this is going from 1876 to about 1907, so it's what, 30 years or so. So 1876, the telephone is invented. In uh, this timeline here, we go from the telephone to the airplane. And it's amazing to think that we, obviously today we live in an amazing time of rapid change, but the rapid change is really more than 100 years old because 1876, so we're talking just after the Civil War, telephones invented. 77 is the phonograph. Uh, this was 18 something or other electric, I don't know what, Red Cross in 82. 85, the first skyscraper, 1886, Coca-Cola, just 1891, as Opera House burns down, sorry, that's how we started, 1893, motion pictures, so we're now 20 years, a little less than 20 years, 1896, Ford builds cars, 1900, Roosevelt visits Joliet, cool, 1903, Wright Brothers at the airplane. So, that's a pretty amazing time period of change. Your modern transportation. Of course, this you know this this plant's building for for railroad. So all these other things are really not even part of what this plant was doing. Uh, I'm sorry, I just, I love technology, I love change, and so I'm going to talk about it, but uh, that's a, an incredible time period. I don't really think of the late 1800s as that dramatic a change, but most modern communications, creature comforts like electricity and transportation systems were invented then. So this is talking about, this sign here is talking about uh, immigration and where the neighborhoods where different uh, immigrant groups lived. I uh, have to say this is a nice historical thing. Uh, obviously we're in a time period where judging people based on race is uh, not exactly a great idea. So I um, I have mixed uh, mixed emotions about learning some of the historical information about immigration. Um, this is a melting pot. I think that's really cool uh, because ultimately I, I've been a believer my whole life that you know everybody's the same and you either have value to me personally or to what I'm doing or you don't and that's how I judge you. Um, everything else doesn't matter. I've had some people with all kinds of backgrounds um, in my employee obviously uh, I've got a long distance relationship with a woman in Switzerland so I really don't have much of a problem with uh, integration of different people but like employee safety it's one of those and ethics it's one of those things that should go without saying but needs to be said so i'm glad it's being said i'm obviously 100 percent in favor of where we are in society and the topics we're discussing that's my personal view